Hmm. Some OGs. Some OGs. Let's try these two. Hey, welcome to a new video. Um, we are gonna try some OGs bourbon whiskeys. Um, so this is not considered a bourbon, but I think it I think it really is. They just don't do it. Call it a bourbon and call it a whiskey. Um uh, so Jim Beam, original, Jack Daniels number seven. Um twenty two dollars. Twenty one dollars. Twenty twenty something. Twenty dollars ish. But then this one rang up Thirteen ninety nine. Thirteen ninety nine. So that's that's unusual. I don't think it was supposed to be that much. It was, it was supposed cheap. To be, I think it was supposed to be like twenty bucks. Mm -hmm. Anyways, so. we're gonna get them open, try one at a time to see how they are. Um, I haven't. I've never had Jim Beam before. I've had the Booker brand before, a real exp expensive one. Um, and I haven't had Jack Daniels in twenty years. So, wow, it's been a long time. <laughs> Yeah, it's the OG. Anyways, um, yeah, thanks for being here. Like, comment, subscribe, and uh, let's get to tasting, I guess. We have the door open. It's a little louder. If a train comes through, it's going to be loud. <laughs> okay, so, yeah, I'll let you. Which one do you want to try first, though? We'll try the cheaper one The cheaper first. one? Just to okay. give it a, a, a head start. Uh, oh, my gosh, dang it. Should we just... Uh, yeah, but the whole thing is spinning. Oh, is it? Yeah, you're gonna have to do this one. Let's see, is there not a? There is not a pull thing. No, but the. It's got a hold. hold yeah, you're gonna. Have and go. Oh. Yeah. See. That does not work. Thank you. Okay. So no cork. No. That saves some money. <laughs> and cut to a. Cut to a pouring glass scene. <laughs> just a little, just a little sniffer of it. Cut to a pouring glass scene. The cat's licking the red boots, by the way. Hmm. The fur. <clears throat> the boots with the fur. So this is Jim Beam. <laughs> I haven't read it yet. So James B. Beam, none gen genuine without my signature. The world's number one. It says the world's number one bourbon. I don't know. According to who? A little family tree on Master the side. distiller since 1795. The cool little family tree. I don't know if you can really focus in on that. Uh, it's hard to tell. So, aged at least four years. In the heart of Kentucky. Okay. So, yeah. Let's give it a shot. It's for 40%. So, it's normal. A normal alcohol, I guess. Um, I mean, let's give it a. At first, to me, it kind of smelled like wet dog. <laughs> I don't get wet dog. I do get no a, polish. Yeah, no polish smell. I mean, it smells. It's no a polish. Bit spicy. Yeah, to a little me. bit of spice. Woody. No, not wood. Foresty, maybe. I don't know. Ethanol. It's a lot of ethanol. Yeah. You try it? Yeah, ready? Yeah. Mm, not bad. Very mild. Um, Spice at the end. Yeah, it does have a little kick at the end. Yeah, a little spice at the end. Little alcohol, I mean, little ethanol fumes. But it's really not too bad. It literally smells like nail polish remover. Mm hmm. But tastes fine. But I kind of get a, a bit of cinnamon uh, and uh, yeah, a bit of spice. Or and a bit of wet dog. I don't know it's there. See, I'm not getting wet dog. <laughs> it's there. Cinnamon on the nose now, after you try it. Try not to breathe in so deep. But there's no like... It's a bit spicy, but it's yeah. easy to drink. It's not... 
I don't know. It doesn't have a kick. It doesn't have yeah. like the heavy fumes at mm -hmm. the end. It's it's not hard to drink. Yeah, that's not bad. No. I mean, for thirteen dollars, that, that's that's hard to beat there. Yeah, for real. If you're doing, you know, price price per glass, that's good. That's a good. That, yeah. That's a good one. So we're gonna but rinse and repeat. It does make me feel warm. It does give a warm feeling. Yeah. Okay, so now, so I just rinsed and repeated the glasses, and we're gonna do some of the Jack Daniels with Jim Beam. Not bad. Good job on that one. Thirteen ninety nine. Thirteen ninety nine. Yeah, I'm curious though. now about other Jim Beam bourbons because they do make a, quite a. They were they're a big company. Uh, they also got bought out by a Japanese um, company. That's I'm not gonna not say a, what I smell. Not a good face. I'm not gonna say what I smell and sleep so for it. Let's. But I will to, say there is one that smells very similar to this. Cut to glass porn scene. Okay, let me read it now. Oh, that's a plastic cap. So they're saving money by not doing the corks. Every <laughs> every one we've had so far has had a cork, and that this one had a little little metal cap. This one has. I don't want you plastic. to read it yet. Okay, you want me to smell it? Yeah, let's smell it first and then read it. That way okay. you're not like influenced. I see the picture of Jack Daniel on the side. Oh no, his name is Jasper Newton. What, what do you smell? Hmm, honey. You, you want me to tell you what I smell? Um, sure. Banana runts. Oh. Remember? Oh, looks like the- The um, imitation banana. Oh yeah, it is banana. You know what? I think I've seen someone have that did Jack uh, recently. And they said the same thing. Oh, really? B banana nut bread. Yeah, it smells like banana. Wow. When, once, see, once, once you told me that, it's all I'm smelling. Yeah. You should have said like you know pizza or something. <laughs> it smells like bratwurst. <laughs> <laughs> it smells like bratwurst. I mean, it smells good. It smells but, but sweet. It, it smells really sweet. Mellow for smoothness, drop by drop, through sugar, maple, charcoal. So it does smell sweet. Yeah, matured for character in our own handcrafted barrels. Tasted for flavor by masters until deemed ready. Awarded for quality and distinction. Seven gold medals since 1904. It I mean, smells like banana in big In every time. drop made in Lynchburg, Tennessee. Okay, ready? Uh, sure. Let's turn that forward. You see it on the camera? Yes. Let's give it a shot. Banana. Banana going in. Oh, sweet. I mean... Wow, that's... I just... I prefer the Jim Beam over this one. This one tastes a little too sweet for me, to be it, honest. Um, um, can't wow. figure out what it is that. It's an easy whiskey to drink. I'll be honest. It has a little burn at the end. Not like burn. It's no, no, got like a ethanol fume to me. Like whenever you drink, it's a little um, not spicy, just burny. The one thing out of both of these I'm missing is more strength to them. These are both forty percent. I I really do prefer that one over this one, but neither one of them are bad. Um, this one's a little sweeter. This one's a little spicier. Yeah, I do like the spiciness of yeah. this one. So, um, this one is really sweet. Yeah, um, the I Jack mean, Daniels is sweet. I feel like this would be easy and for And I do not remember, I don't remember Jack Daniels. I mean, 20 years ago. We last weren't had, drinking it like we were. It, it was a mix. It was yeah. a mix. We, we never did neats. It. We weren't drinking neat stuff. It was Jack and Coke or something like that. But yeah. I don't remember it being so sweet and smelling like banana bread. Yeah, it, bananas is all I'm. Banana nut bread is all I'm getting. Hmm. 
I get banana and a bit of ethanol. I mean, honestly, both these are good drinks. Yeah, I would they're I would fine. drink either of them. Yeah, they're fine. I um, prefer that one, though, if so I had to been, pick. Yeah, because we've been doing more more of, um, and, you know, I guess smaller distillers, I guess. But um, And local. We were doing a lot of local. Yeah, we, we've tried a couple local ones, so we'll probably share some more local ones that make that make bourbon because we're in we're, we're in texas some of them texas bourbon I, I don't know the difference um but bananas is all i smell mm -hmm. like ripened brown bananas really sweet smashed banana. into bread yeah over ripened for sure over ripened for, yeah over ripened it smells like banana runts to me it is fine yeah, it's smooth. It's a. I just wish there was a little bit more oiliness, I guess. Yeah, there's um, no like viscosity to it. Yeah. It's not thick. It doesn't have like the very, honey texture or anything like silky smooth texture. It's yeah. just. So I think the last two we did was um. Hmm, we compared it to Knob Creek. Uh, what was the two we had last time? Uh, oh, Craig. Uh, Elijah Craig and. Uh, Four roses. Four roses, yeah. yeah. Both single barrel stuff, so smaller batches. And but as they were we, okay. Yeah, as we tried them, Knob Creek was definitely a favorite. Knob Creek was a favorite, yeah. Yeah. So, anyways, um, try these out. We both prefer to Jim Beam. It's almost half the price, too. Yeah, it's super inexpensive. <laughs> yeah, it's like $10 cheaper, so that, that's... Not that this silly. was expensive, because we paid no, a lot cheap. more than these, like, double, yeah. triple on some of these but people all around us anyways thanks for being here um like comment subscribe till next one bye bye, bye.